everything I ate for $10 in Thailand. There's literally street food everywhere and it's all so cheap. Like I ordered this pad thai for $1.70 and it smelled so good. It came with these crunchy mung bean sprouts, this really tender shrimp, and it was like perfectly spicy and nutty and acidic. Literally one of the best dishes I've ever had. Of course, I got a Thai iced tea because it was so hot outside. It was only 70 cents and it was so sweet and creamy. And then I saw this guy making all of these spring rolls and he gave me two for just 86 cents. They were filled with noodles and pork and eggs and they had this sweet like salty sauce on top and these crunchy fried bits of something. I'm not sure, but it was delicious. And then I kept seeing these soup noodle stalls like everywhere and this gorgeous bowl only cost me a dollar and 70 cents and it came with a bunch of condiments and the noodles were so thick and the pork was actually really tender. And you guys, it came with fish balls. I haven't had these in forever. They're such a fun like elasticy texture, but they're also really soft. And it also had dumplings. They were so juicy and sweet. And for just 70 cents, I got this clear grass jelly dessert. It had like red beans and this black jelly and then shaved ice and then condensed milk on top. And it also had sugar syrup on the bottom. So it was really sweet and so refreshing. And the different textures are so fun too. And then finally I got some pork satay. He made me 10 skewers for a dollar and 44 cents. And it came with this delicious, sweet, spicy peanut sauce that is literally addictive. And the pork is so tender and flavorful. And I was too full to eat anymore. So I couldn't spend $10, but I did spend like seven, I think. And that's all for today. Everything I ate for $7 in Malaysia. So it's my second day in Malaysia and I wanted to see how little I could spend. And when I walked into the market, the first thing that I saw was bubble tea and look at this cool like lid machine. And then I saw she had dragon fruit milkshakes. If you've never had dragon fruit, it's kind of a cross between like a watermelon and a kiwi. But anyway, I added boba and jellies and it was only 20 cents, super refreshing. And then I tried some nasi goreng with fried chicken and it had this really sweet sauce and the chicken was super crispy. But the rice, oh my gosh, it was so fluffy, really flavorful super soft and like sticky. And I was so excited for this Tom Yum. It had shrimp and squid, a bunch of different veggies, and the broth was so spicy. It just like lights up your mouth with flavor and it was only a dollar, insane. And there was actually a really long line for this ice kacang. It's this big pile of like flavored shaved ice with red beans and creamy corn and then ice cream on top. And honestly, the corn ice cream flavor combo takes a minute to get used to, but the textures are amazing. Like the red beans are super soft and then the ice is kind of crunchy. And then this dessert was only 87 cents and it had these green rice flour jellies in it and this really sweet coconut milk. And altogether, I think I spent about like $6.40 and that's all for today. Only eating street food for a full day in Malaysia. So they have these massive markets all over the place and everything is super cheap. Like this gorgeous migo rang was only $1.40. I ordered it spicy and oh my gosh, the fried noodles are so delicious with that like savory sweet sauce. And I had these really big tender chunks of chicken. I also had to try some chocolate which has these amazing, really soft, chewy rice noodles. And the sauce is so sweet and garlicky and kind of smoky. And then it's got crunchy bean sprouts and a fried egg. And oh my gosh, the shrimp was so fresh. Then I found a stall selling the national dish of Malaysia. So it's the spicy coconut rice. And then there's a fried fish inside. This was by far the spiciest thing I had all day. It really like makes your mouth tingle and it goes so well with the salty fish. And then I got this roti for only 70 cents. It's this super buttery grilled toast with garlic garlic powder on top and then like the rich runny egg just soaks into the crispy soft bread. It was actually incredible. And I was getting kind of full but then the owner of this cart gave me my dish for free. He like picked out all the ingredients so it was a surprise and it had like eggs and fried tofu and shrimp cakes and squid and it's all smothered in this like thick sugary sauce and there's so many different textures going on. And finally I tried a samosa that was filled with sweet potato I think. It was super crunchy and crispy and that's all for today. Only eating at 7-Eleven for a full day in Thailand. This 7-Eleven was huge. They had a pharmacy and this whole section of sandwiches that they would heat up for you. I got this double taro one that they put in a panini press. It was warm and toasty and the taro was super thick and like vanilla-y. If you've never tried taro, you have to. It's like a creamy sweet potato. And they had a whole bakery section. Look at these pretty sausage rolls. The bread was so soft and fluffy and they were covered in this sweet kind of jelly and cheese. It was a really interesting flavor combo, but it actually worked. They also had a bunch of options for drinks, but of course I had to get a Thai tea and I love that in Asia they put your drinks in little bags so it's like really easy to carry around. And it was so creamy and thick and super sweet. And then I wandered around the store and I found so many interesting snacks, but I couldn't get them all. I did get this chocolate daifuku and look at how soft and squishy the mochi was. And it was filled with this rich chocolate cream. So chewy, so satisfying and honestly not too sweet. I also got this like custard filled cake donut that I thought might have been matcha flavored or melon, but it was just really soft and 
and kind of reminded me of a Twinkie. And then later I tried some more snacks. I got these Sour Twist Lays that had a really great lime flavor and a little hint of spice. And I saw these corn snacks. Look at how big and puffy they were and so chocolatey. They kind of had like a hot chocolate flavor and super crunchy and light and puffy. And finally, I tried these purple sweet potato pretzel sticks. I was not expecting them to be so buttery and really sweet and salty. And that's all for today. What I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. For breakfast, I was so excited to try more of the snacks I bought in India. And I bought this big bag of roasted like crunchy peas and the seasoning gave them a warm flavor. They weren't spicy. It's hard to describe, but they're like addictive. And I love that this bag of bujia was filled like all the way to the top. And you guys literally have to try these. They're these crispy little like noodles made from bean flour and they kind of taste like potato chips, but better. Anyway, then I went to the staff mess for lunch and we're at sea today. So this was my view. And you guys, they had this gorgeous leftover cake from a guest party last night oh my gosh this might have been the richest cake i've ever eaten in my life it had these thick layers of like bittersweet chocolate ganache it was so intensely chocolatey but i'm kind of obsessed and they also had fried calamari like we were eating good in the mess today it was so tender and crispy and salty like not chewy at all delicious and after that i had work and a show but afterwards the kitchen brought us so much show food it's always a surprise what they'll bring us after each show and today they had these asparagus quiches i don't know when the last time i had a quiche was but it was so soft and creamy and cheesy like just melted in my mouth and they also brought us these egg rolls that were fried super fresh like they were still hot and crunchy and they had glass noodles inside and that's all for today only eating mall food for a full day in Malaysia. So in Asia, a lot of the food courts are actually in the basement of the mall and they're massive. They have like so many different options. I started out with some curry mee, which had two different types of noodles and the spicy coconut broth was super sour too. It's like such a complex flavor. It also had fried tofu and shrimp and these cubes of congealed blood, which is actually super soft. And then I stopped at this Chinese food stall and got these freaking delicious pork dumplings that just melted in my mouth. And they came with this bowl of spicy chili sauce that literally makes your eyes water. It's so hot but it's so worth it and then i saw that they were selling yotiao so i had to get some it's this fried dough that's super crispy and crunchy and has that amazing deep fried flavor it's incredible and then i found this duck shop with a really long line and this noodle plate with three different meats was only four dollars it had this sweet honey barbecue pork that was so buttery and the duck was super rich and like fatty in the best way and then this crispy pork belly had the perfect crunch also i don't know what these noodles were called but they were like so sugary and salty and delicious and then i found this bakery and of course I had to get an egg tart. The crust was so flaky and then the filling was really soft and like custardy and had a great vanilla flavor. And this was a white coffee cream puff. I've never tried white coffee before, but it was delicious, so fluffy and light. And this one almost had like a biscuity shortbread texture and it was filled with chicken, super savory. And that's all for today. What I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. So it's actually my birthday today and they surprised me by decorating our dressing room. And my friend brought me my favorite cookies from the pool grill. The chocolate chip ones are the best. They're like cramped full of chocolate and we're in indonesia today i found this really gorgeous brunch spot and even though it was super bougie everything was still so cheap like this wagyu pho was only three dollars i added some hoisin and sriracha and look at this huge piece of beef it was so tender and the broth was really rich it also had these like bouncy little beef balls and then just look at this slice of wagyu it literally melted in my mouth for three dollars like are you kidding me i also got some karage which is this japanese fried chicken it came with this thick green chili sauce and it was so crunchy and this is the best gochujang sauce I've ever had. If you've never tried gochujang, you have to. It's like this spicy, sweet Korean sauce that goes well with literally everything. Anyway, then we headed back to the ship and we actually had a show tonight, but birthday shows are the best. And after the show, the kitchen brought me a cake and everyone's saying happy birthday. Like it's so nice to feel love from people when you're really far away from home. And unfortunately the cake was actually super dry, but the chocolate frosting was nice. It was like really bittersweet, but the cake kind of had like a cornbread texture. That's okay though, because they brought a pea pizza for show food and the marinara sauce was really flavorful it was fire and anyway that's all for today only eating Korean snack foods for a full day. I ordered a bunch of snacks from Bussin Snacks and for breakfast I tried these Samyang Carbonara noodles that had this packet of thick dark sauce so I thought they might be spicy but they weren't just like super cheesy and the sauce was so creamy and then the noodles were like thick and a little chewy delicious and look at these garlic baguette sun chips oh my gosh they were incredible the garlic flavor was amazing but they were also so buttery and had that like perfect sun chip crunch and I had to try this vanilla latte because I had BTS on the front it 
was so cute and actually like really sweet. And then later for lunch, I tried these cup noodle chips. They were black pepper and crab flavored and the flavor was actually really complex. They were like kind of sour and they did have a nice peppery kick, not too fishy. Oh, I also got this white grape soda that was so sugary and fizzy and fruity. And then look, I got these red velvet Oreos. The frosting did have a nice kind of cream cheese flavor, super chocolatey and crunchy. And then later I tried these late night oven roasted chicken Doritos and the chicken flavor was nice and strong and they were kind of smoky too and a little sweet. And finally I got this sparkling grapefruit soda and I'm like obsessed with grapefruits. This was so good and that's all for today. What I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. For breakfast, I tried these mini Turkish delights I bought in Dubai. This pineapple one had peanuts in it and the jelly part is like so satisfyingly chewy and it's really nutty and crunchy. And this nougat one was covered in flower petals. It was really like bright and floral tasting and the nougat was so fluffy. Then I went to the staff mess for lunch and they had ribs today. Oh my gosh, I haven't had ribs in so long. They just fell off of the bone, so tender. And they had this really sweet tangy sauce. They also had this big pan of paella and the rice was so freaking fluffy fluffy and soft and flavorful and they had these big chunks of chicken and peas it was delicious and then i saw this blueberry cake it was really soft and the berries were kind of sour and tonight i had a special birthday dinner at one of the restaurants on board look at this gorgeous chandelier for my starter i got this interesting crab cake it had like jelly on top and the crab was so creamy and then i got pesto pasta for my second course with parmesan it was really nutty and basil-y and cheesy and then for my main course i got the lobster tail and it was so meaty it came with this burr blanc that was thick and smooth and it all just like melted in my mouth and look they brought me a birthday cake it was kind of like mousse cake it was so soft really fluffy and bittersweet and like cocoa-y really really rich and then finally everyone said i had to try this souffle that was piping hot and so light like the lightest sweetest cake it kind of reminded me of like an angel food cake and anyway that's all for today what I eat in a day living on a cruise ship. Today we went to Kuala Lumpur and I had no time for breakfast, but we did stop by 7-Eleven, so I grabbed a few snacks. Of course, I had to get some skewers. I thought this one might've been a tofu ball, but it was like sweet on the outside and a little firmer, like a fish or a pork ball. But this chicken one was so good. It had like the perfect little hint of spice, really tender and warm. I also got this barbecue chicken bun and the bread was so soft. It tasted like a Hawaiian roll and it had this interesting kind of sugary jam on top. And I also found this teriyaki chicken onigiri and i haven't had one of these since leaving china they're super convenient you just like pull the little tabs off and then the seaweed is like crunchy and a little salty and then the teriyaki mixture was literally delicious it was super savory and sweet and then we had like two hours to explore the city so we got to go to these caves and we met some monkeys they were so freaking cute and then it was time to head back to the ship and we actually had a show tonight so we didn't have time to eat dinner but after the show they always bring us some leftover food from like the buffets and stuff this wrap had pickles and turkey and and the wrap was really soft. And then I tried this like pastrami or roast beef one. It was slightly too chewy for me, but that's okay because they brought us my favorite tortilla chips. These are the best out of a bag tortilla chips I've ever had. They're so perfectly salty and light and crunchy. And that's all for today.